Uh, Gerald Varzell, I'm President and CEO of Elomics. So the core of the company is still the same today. Uh, we're a precision medicine company that provides an actionable roadmap to patients and their oncologists to guide their therapy and positively impact their patients' outcomes. Today we uh, focus on three strategic pillars. They're complementary to each other. Uh, our first is our precision oncology insight, and that's taking our testing component. Um, the second is our integrated CRO business. And the third is our bioinformatics uh, platform, artificial intelligence, which is our proprietary D-chip platform. And all three of those are complementary. You know, as we look at the company, you know, you say why Holomics is we actually test the gene profile drug response of a patient's own tumor. We gather that data and we put it together in our D-chip. And if you focus in on precision medicine, you know, we, we look at three things. We look at the patient, the clinician, and the researcher. From a patient perspective, we look at our precision oncology um, insights or, or in terms of targeting or tailoring the care to that patient. In terms of the clinician, we're really looking at the biology of the, of, of the tumor and how we're going to impact that. The third, the researcher, is the more the collaborative as we continue to look at new technologies, new platform. So those are the three components uh, that we look under uh, of precision medicine and how those strategic pillars all complementary impact the future of the company and, the, and, and ultimately precision medicine. Within the precision medicine, it's estimated to be about 96 billion by 2024. And that was uh, one report by uh, Global Market Insights. So this validation of precision therapeutics moving into this space with holomics and tumor genesis is, is quite significant. In terms of the, the tumor biobank, the ability to bring these tumors in and, and working with the tumor genesis is really creating one of a kind patient tumor biobank that we can utilize not only for today, but for, for tomorrow and future growth of looking at new drugs, new, new diagnostics, companion diagnostics. So it's, it's, it's definitely a, a wealth of uh, information, actionable data for the future as we go forward. So that's something that, uh, that we're excited about uh, and we're looking forward to continuing to grow out uh, within tumor genesis and uh, uh, holomics being one now. The company has over 150,000 tumors um, over a decade that has come into this company. This is significant because not only do we have genomic data, we also have that drug response data. Um, every single day, a new tumor comes in to our lab and, and, and that impacts that specific patient today, of course, but it's really also building that database and that information for the future. And it's critical as we go forward to continue to ensure that we look at our foundation and, and where we're going of making sure that we get these tumors in. Um, so our um, uh, market penetration, our market launch, our market uh, collaborations that are out there is we are going out and working with leading uh, medical universities, oncologists, to be able to provide a vehicle to send those tumors in, not just for those specific patients, but to really build a strategic collaboration to build out that data going forward. And you know, our new um, approach has been not to look at it as a diagnostic test or test, but really we're a consultative service. And, and, and it's been well received within the medical community um, uh, that this approach is the right approach. And, and let me explain. So what we've done is we want to go out and we want to provide this, this data, this, this information to the, back to the oncologist for that patient. But as I said earlier, we want to bring those tumors in to be able to continue to build out this roadmap. This, I like to use the word GPS roadmap. And just like you and I could go from one point to the next point, 
and you know, put in our GPS and, and say, here's where we're going, it provides a straight line path to that, to that end destination. It also provides additional uh, alternative routes, you know, some slower, some faster. But what we want to do is we want to take that even further and be able to, to take, okay, here's the alternative path, here's the direct route, but based on our expertise and based on your expertise, here's additional information that can actually get you faster, more efficiently to the end destination. And that is truly how we want to collaborate and why it's critical every single day to get these tumors in here. Now, we specialize in gynecological cancers, specifically ovarian cancer. So that is where we have, uh, have created, or that is our focus today. Um, we want to continue to build that out. Uh, and then in this consultative service, you know, we're basically adding, you know, because people ask, so, so how do you get paid? Um, you know, how, you know how, how, how do we pay you? Or, or you know, wh where's your revenues coming from? Well, you know, this consultative service still provides other tests that are uh, within the package that are reimbursed and then also tied to our True Tumor platform. So at the end of the day, we're providing a detailed, comprehensive report, as I like to say, GPS roadmap, to really impact you, uh, you that patient, um, and then ultimately building that database with actionable data to impact tomorrow. As we all know, and probably turn on our TVs, you know, uh, informatics data is, is, is everywhere. Um, we're talking about it in, in healthcare. So the hype is there, uh, the excitement is there. Um, I think now, you know, that, that we're aware of it, uh, we need to, to look at those companies um, that are out there that are able to, to make something meaningful of it. And um, Holomics, uh, is, as we mentioned in the th three strategic pillars, uh, the D-chip is, is, is the critical one as we go forward because that is the uh, database, the machine learning, the G-chip, that's going to provide the um, information back, the actual information back to uh, the oncologist to really impact precision medicine. Today, Holomics isn't starting at zero. And, and let me explain that. Um, you know, we have a lot of companies that have a lot of genomic data, hospital systems have a lot of data. The, the question is, you know, how do we take that data and make it actionable? And what Holomics has done uh, over a decade of bringing these tumors in, and I think earlier I mentioned 150,000 plus tumors, and every day a new tumor comes in, is we've taken that data, both the genomic data and our differentiator, which is our drug response data. And that allows us a very strong foundation going forward and a true footprint for our GPS roadmap, as I'd like to say, going forward. So, so if we look at today cancer, you know, and we, and, and we say cancer, is, it's definitely personal. I mean, we, we all know someone or have been impacted by cancer. The problem is, and we've all been through this or have heard horror stories through this, is the process. It, it's not personal. It, you know, when it, it's a lot of trial and error. It's, it's a lot of different things that they come together. And what's unique about Holomics is, is we have the ability to bring in tumors today and, and the individual tumors. Every day a new tumor comes in. Every person's tumor is different. Every individual is, 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 is different. Uh, and we can provide a roadmap, an actionable roadmap to impact that patient, you. So, you know, if we look at today, uh, you know, where, where our core is, and that's ovarian cancer, and there's about 24,000 uh, patients each year, and we break it down in the role of uh, recurrent ovarian cancer. You know, one thing that has come up is, you know, we, we have a, a very good uh, response rate in terms of ovarian cancer, but as, as we look at recurrent cancer, uh, ovarian cancer, um, you know, we're not there yet. And, and one of the things that uh, recently was published or that was published at Holomics was we had a, um, a study done that we basically uh, enhanced the survival rate by 14 months 
by following the holomics treatment guidance, guidance. And, you know, if you sit back and you say, if that's your wife, your daughter, your granddaughter, why wouldn't you? Why, would, why wouldn't you do something like that? And, and, you know, we look at personalized medicine and we talk about oncology and we talk about cancer and we talk about all these things out there, but until it actually hits you, it, it's just another, it, it's a word. We, we're aware of it and I'm not trying to downplay that. But until it impacts you or someone you love, it's a different world. And, and what we need to do is to continue to be able to provide that information. And that's, that's what we're trying to do. You know, in, in layman's terms, we're trying to provide a GPS roadmap of as much data as, as, as we can collect to impact you.